The first ever Southampton Sailing Week is underway with events both on and off the water, showcasing water sports of all types, from sailing and powerboating to paddleboarding and rowing. Events will be on until Bank Holiday Monday. Here's my report. Some of the activities taking place for Southampton Sailing Week include free dinghy sailing sessions for schools at the Southampton Water Activity Centre, open days at marinas and sailing clubs and six days of racing on the water. We've got some people from the city who've never raced before coming out, we've got some experienced sailors coming out, all coming to come and race out in Southampton waters and showcase the best of what Southampton has to offer. Along with businesses in and around Southampton, Hampshire Chamber of Commerce had a team competing for the first Business South Cup. We've put together a team of our patrons who are very loyal to the Chamber of Commerce. We have ten competing today, hopefully they're going to win. Um, Rhys Leisure, who've organised this for us, are one of our patrons as well. Um, and it's all about uh, bonding and corporate entertaining, etc, etc. Are you racing yourself? No, unfortunately I've had a hip replacement, so I don't think I get insurance. <laughs> We heard about Sailing Week, thought it was a fantastic idea. It's a really great way to get the people of Southampton involved in this Cows Week in Isle of Wight. It's about time Southampton had something similar uh, and this really could be the start of something big for Southampton in years to come. So we really want to be a part of that, but it's really good to support something in Southampton like this. I think the parade of sail that's going to happen at the weekend is going to be amazing as well. So it's just really great to be part of this event and get our, some of our clients out on the water and get them involved in sailing and to kick it off with. It's the first time Southampton has hosted a dedicated week to celebrate sailing and the Royal Southampton Yacht Club were delighted to be involved. Where we live, we are in the most popular sailing area in the country, if not the world. The only alternative is the forest or the countryside. Every child in this area should, at some time or another, be introduced to boating. We think that this is one way of getting people used to the idea that Southampton is a sailing city. The ambassador for Southampton Sailing Week intends to sail single-handedly, non-stop, around the world in the Vendée Globe 60-foot racing yachts. His passion for sailing started as a youngster and he wants everyone to experience the same joy. I think more people haven't seen the beauty that uh, sailing can bring. Uh, one of the days I, I explain is being out there in the middle of the night, stars just covering the sky so you can see the mil even the Milky Way. It's amazing. People just need to get themselves down to um, Ocean Village here. There's also um, Hamble and Hythe. People just need to get themselves down here, see what's, see what's happening and, and just get involved. It's, it's so welcoming and anyone and everyone can get involved. On Saturday lunchtime, Southampton Waters will see a large parade of sail. Over 100 yachts are going to be coming out to come and um, parade themselves from Shamrock Quay up on the River Itchen, down through underneath the Itchen Bridge, then head all the way down towards Hambles. There's 100 yachts, we've got the Red Funnel out, we've got the Blue Funnels out, we've got the SS Shield Hall, uh, we've also got the ABP patrol boats coming out, so there's going to be a huge display of all the watercraft, uh, as well as the rowers coming through as well, so we have lots of people on the water, all heading down towards Hamble, and then we've got a helicopter flying overhead to come and capture all the action as well. So, best thing if you're not already signed up or not on a boat, um, come on down to either Ocean Village, to Wollstone, to Centenary Quay and um, come down towards Hamble or if you're feeling brave get on your bike and you can follow the sailors all the way down towards Hamble as well which would be really exciting. If you want to see all the lovely craft on the water this weekend the parade of sail starts on Saturday around 12.30 from the Itchen Bridge area until half past one at the Hamble end and if you fancy some live classical music overlooking the water later that day then pop down to the Ocean Village Marina from 4pm. This is Shan Robbins for That's TV.